<laughs> one of the things that widows often talks about is the uh, importance of the sacred secretion, the importance of the Christos, the Kundalini, the importance of the astrology, the importance of um, the symbolism in reference to the human body and the human experience. That is really where the vast amount of this information uh, is lost. And they often call it sometimes the lost keys of Freemasonry, or they'll call it the lost... Uh, the lost Knights Templar, the lost Rosicrucian orders, et cetera, et cetera. Um, there, there, there's reasons for why that has transpired over the, um, the, the many, honestly, uh, centuries. Um, I mean, it really at the, at the root of it, if you were to ask myself and widows, probably one of the bigger roots, not maybe the full end all be all, but one of the bigger roots would be Shabtai Zevi, um, and uh, Ye Jacob Frank, Ye Jacob yep. Frank, um, which they, are our first went, episode that we did together. We went in great detail about that. Um, stuff. Um, so so make sure you go Frank back and watch that. Yeah. Make sure you go back mm -hmm. and watch that episode. Yeah. We heavily detail. And honestly, the Sabadian Frankism is the root of why people are talking about the uh, the Palestinian issue that is going on right now. And if more people were um, kind of illuminated on that topic, that would probably showcase how there was a group of people were not going to put their race or their religion or anything in there. They were, they wanted to start their own order. They took things from Christianity, Judaism, and Islam, and they perverted it's them. The they, it's the Romans. It's the Romans. <laughs> they ba they bastardized them. They they um, wanted to supersede so many different um, cultures and different avenues for financial gains, monetary gains, spiritual gains, and uh, that has bled into what we have going on today. Um, and so the reality the reality behind all this, I mean, I can share personally that just from my paradigm. Um, I, I'm a very, I'm a spiritual life coach now. I mean, this is what I do for a living as well, but at the, at the end of the day, where I came from was the finance sector. I was working on wall street in Manhattan in New York city. I was, I worked for the, go, uh, the government small and large. I've worked in sales. I've worked in, um, the tech sector. I've worked in, um, a wide variety. I've worked in banking and finance. There's a lot of different things that I've done where, um, ultimately the bullshit that you are steeped in, in the corporate world is very similar and analogous to what you're talking about. I witnessed, uh, illegal drug use. Uh, I've witnessed um, a, a heavy rampant alcoholism, probably more than anything. And when I say rampant alcoholism, I don't mean people enjoying a drink every so often. I mean, like these people were hitting hard shots at 501 PM every single day, going to the bars and wasting their lives away because they were so miserable with their jobs. I, I saw, um, sexual harassment that I had specifically called out in multiple different cases. And they basically told me to shut my effing mouth or else they were going to let me go. And I, I just quit right on the spot. I said, I'm not, I, I'm, I cannot deal with being in a toxic work environment where every single person around here is telling me you got to get out of here because this place is just going to suck your soul dry. And so the, it, it, it really, what it comes down into is, um, whether you are in a fraternity order, whether you are in the corporate world or even in Hollywood, you know, obviously people are not um, estranged to Hollywood and they're not estranged to what's going on with the Epstein situation. But just recently oh, we had that. Of, that, that it, oh, yeah. P. Diddy uh, is now getting rated right now, like today. As we yeah, full see, moon. Full, during uh, the and of full course, moon and eclipse. Of, Full, not only full moon eclipse, it's the full moon Libra. Libra rules over justice, judiciary, uh, the 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 law. It's the scale. So that's anything related. Would, yeah, that's to, why. We're, yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Yeah. Anytime you've ever been to court, if you see the scales that are sitting up inside of a courtroom or yeah. like like a, a the courts in general, yeah, they're playing that, into that the symbol of Libra. Yeah, they're playing into exactly. the, the the energy of the astrological sign of Libra. They are taking the energy that is literally placed in the stars and also human consciousness passed down through DNA, genetics, bloodlines, and any any energy that is output from people all over the world. And there's a lot there's a lot that goes into that too. But 
the the with the with the exposure today's the full moon in libra eclipse it's an exposure an expose on um anything having to do with legality i mean there's actually a lot of stuff in the finance sector that popped off today there the p diddy thing and then also not to mention the um uh, what i was going to say with hollywood now it's um starting to become exposed full throttle. We've had this amazing documentary that's come out in the last couple of weeks, uh, Quiet On Set, the Nickelodeon documentary about oh, yeah, Dan Schneider yeah. and all of these, um, you know, people who are doing things to kids that they should not be doing to kids. Uh, wh whether the accusations are all the way true to the severity of the extent, or it's just the fact that he was dressing them up at 13 in bikinis, like it's still sick it's wrong um kids were sexually assaulted really really badly i mean not just i mean and it wasn't their choice is the thing is it, it, none of it was their choice they right. talked like, about this is, it this is beyond like q anon conspiracy now it's like yeah, yeah. that this QAnon is not... was the warm-up it was the warm-up mm -hmm. and then now mm -hmm. and j just like me and matt both have been predicting for well yeah. over a year now this mm -hmm. exact these exact subjects and now we're seeing it come to fruition except he's had his channel attacked by by so someone with a much larger account than him which is mm -hmm. just ridiculous uh to the point that i think that you even lost like two accounts right i lost two accounts totaling of over thirty thousand followers on tiktok and so right. those people are left in the dark afterwards so now fortunately we've been able to come back and you know we're at sixty five thousand now but it's still it's like it's still um we post we try to get as much engagement going as possible but the algorithm still wants to keep us snuffed because of the things that we detail in the, in the things that we discuss and spot on with what widow said we've been talking about a lot of these things since we became friends like you know two, almost two years ago uh a lot of this and the, these two, revelations. the two things uh, uh so, sorry to interject, interject no you're good you're things that we have in common is uh he introduced me to the sacred secretion uh which is attributed to christ the christ oil the christening the uh the anointing oil that is the natural substance within us that has this natural process i learned everything about it from this guy right here and then on top of that astrology i learned majority of what i know about astrology also from this guy uh he literally guessed the time I was born off by like seven minutes. Yeah. It was <laughs> like yeah, it was I, 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 he was more accurate than I was on my own birth time. So uh, like once he really impressed me with those two things, that's when I do what I do best. And I deep dove into studying both. And now I have a better understanding of astrology than I ever have. And I just have a really good relationship with Christ. And mm -hmm. People think that like those two things don't go hand in hand, but it's like, have you ever read Revelation? I love you so much, bro. Thank you so much for having me on your podcast today. Uh, I always love doing these. We're going to do much more and uh, we're going to be doing again. We're, we've got the workshop in a week, April 1st. Go check it out on the website, teampsychosmos.org. We also got it, the it'll be linked. In, it, it, yeah, it'll be linked in uh, TikTok bios, both of ours. It'll be linked in uh, the description below when this goes on YouTube and all yep. that good stuff. Uh, you will yep. be able to find it. It will be easy. Yep. And thank you so much once again, bro. I really appreciate it. I love you so much, man. I love you too, brother. And thank you for guessing as usual. Now go catch some Z's and see what gifts God's going to give you in your, in your sleepy dreams. I'm looking forward to my sleepy dreams. I appreciate it. And you know, again, I, I just, I love you so much. I love doing these um, and we'll see you in the next one guys.